As Canadians, we are regularly reminded how vast our country is. It stretches from the Atlantic Ocean in the east to the Pacific Ocean in the west. To the north lies the Arctic Ocean. We share land borders with the United States to the south and to the northwest. Travel often involves very large distances and communication up to five time zones. We have a long list of biggest this and that's. Canada has the longest shoreline. It is the second largest country in the world. However, if you go strictly by land surface area, Canada would only rank fourth because of the large proportion of freshwater lakes. This gives you some idea of how important water is. Canadians are stewards of a large portion of the Earth's territory and marine environment. We rely on Earth observation data to help us map large areas, monitor extreme seasonal conditions, and manage environmental challenges. As you will learn, radar and remote sensing play a significant role. Early proponents of this innovative technology have claimed that Canada was made for remote sensing. There is certainly some truth to this adage, especially when it comes to radar remote sensing. Just consider the very large areas that need to be monitored without clouds or fog cover getting into the way. Or think of winter in Canada's north, where poor light conditions and darkness prevail during several months of the year. Radar can deliver. In addition, there are some unique SAR imaging capabilities. We can exploit them when it comes to detecting change in motion, to determine surface water extent, to measure moisture content, or to penetrate layers of vegetation or snow and ice. Some of these capabilities are already noticeable when comparing the image maps of Canada acquired by optical and radar sensors. The animation of snow cover of North America is composed of optical modus images over a period of several months. The image mosaic in the background is composed of a series of radar sat 2 images, which have been collected over the course of a few days. We will refer to these image maps again when we come to the four lessons. But before we come to the lessons, let's have a closer look at how radar came to Canada in the first place. Let's look at how scientists, managers, and administrators shaped this innovative technology and how radar remote sensing has become an indispensable tool for mapping, monitoring, and safeguarding Canada's territories, marine areas, and environment at large.